Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video I'm going to be covering Dracula. He made his first appearance in Marvel Comics in Tomb of Dracula issue number one in April of 1972. His real name is Vlad Tepes Dracula and he stands 6 feet 5 inches tall, weighs 220 pounds, has red eyes and typically black hair but more recently he's been shown with white hair. Now Dracula holds the title of Lord of the Vampires and is considered to be the most powerful of his kind. Just like other vampires, he can turn other people into vampires by biting them. But due to Dracula's power levels, when he changes someone into a vampire, he can exhibit control over their will, except in rare circumstances when people have extremely high willpower. He's been shown to have varying degrees of superhuman strength, formerly being able to lift about 4 tons, but eventually being able to lift well over 7 tons after the oldest vampire named Varney enhanced Dracula's blood with his own. He can move at superhuman speeds and agility levels. He has superhuman stamina, reflexes, a healing factor that can regenerate most wounds, hypnotism that's enacted by gazing into people's eyes, powerful magical abilities that most notably include shape-shifting into different types of bats, rats, wolves, and even a mist, the ability to manipulate animals of the night, as well as the weather, having proficiency in weather control to the point that he can almost match Storm and Thor, He's extremely intelligent and a master swordsman, and to top it all off, he's functionally immortal, not being able to be killed by most conventional means. Now this being said, Dracula does have the vulnerabilities of many other vampires, having to regularly consume fresh blood to maintain his strength, being allergic to silver and sunlight, being vulnerable to a wooden stake through the heart, decapitation, as well as religious icons like crosses, and he must regularly rest in a coffin that has soil from his homeland in it. Now Vlad Tepes Dracula was born in 1430 in Schausburg, Transylvania, which is in the modern day Romania. The year after his birth, his father, who was a Transylvanian nobleman named Vlad Dracul, became the prince of nearby Wallachia. Later Dracula's father and brother were assassinated by other Transylvanians. This put Dracula in a bind and after years of resistance and running, he finally gave in and went through with a marriage that his father had arranged with Zofia who was a Hungarian noblewoman that he happened to despise. And although this act had put him in good graces with the current ruler, once this usurper died, Dracula took rule, putting an end to his marriage with Zofia and banishing her along with their daughter named Lilith. Now after he had settled in and regained the throne of Wallachia, he had those responsible for his father and brother's assassination impaled. He then went on to fight a war with the Turks, in which he impaled countless numbers of them as well. This is where he got his name Vlad the Impaler. He then went on to marry his second wife, whom he loved, named Maria, and they had a son named Vlad Tepelis. Now in 1459, Dracula was defeated in battle by the Turkish warlord named Turak, who had mortally wounded him. But Turak made the mistake of taking Dracula to the gypsy healer named Leander, who was secretly a vampirist. She ended up biting Dracula, and this turned him into a vampire. Due to Turak being responsible for Maria's death, Dracula quickly killed him, turning his son Vlad Tepelis over to the care of the gypsies. Time went on and Dracula eventually beat the powerful vampire named Nimrod, taking his place as the ruler of Earth's vampires. This is when the eldest vampire on Earth named Varney enhanced his blood with his own before killing himself. This resulted in Dracula becoming the most powerful vampire on Earth. Several centuries then go by, and in 1890 Dracula decided to move to England, but there he came up against the vampire hunter named Abraham Van Helsing and his friends. They tirelessly pursued him even as he fled back to Transylvania, and they seemingly killed him. Despite this, Dracula has repeatedly returned from death. In more modern times, his main foes have proven to be Quincy Harker, Rachel Van Helsing, Frank Drake, who happens to be his own descendant, the day-walking vampire hunter named Blade, Hannibal King, and the monster hunter named Elsa Bloodstone. And although individuals have always come after him, Dracula has always seemed to hold his own, at times showing epic feats like battling powerful beings like the Hulk and fighting Silver Surfer to a standstill, as well as going toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the most resilient beings in the Marvel Universe, such as Deadpool and even Wolverine. Dracula had a recent setback when he and all the other vampires on Earth were destroyed when Doctor Strange cast the Montesi formula. He returned though and even formed a vampire colony away on the moon, here plotting how to conquer the UK. And although he has multiple children that always seem to turn on him, his most recent run-in was with his son Xeris, who actually killed him. 
But to stop Xeris' evil plans, the X-Men revived Dracula and set him loose on his own son to get revenge. Dracula made quick work of this treacherous son, easily ripping his head from his body. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Dracula a rating of 9, which is an epic rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to The New Sage.